there are so many common newbie mistakes that new python developers do and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to not make those mistakes to make your code run faster and also debug faster starting with the mistake number one i call this as the box in a chocolate mistake take the example of this method here at the first glance it looks completely okay but if you see the argument for this method actually is equal to an empty list so as you can see as i try to run this method every single time the list value gets up updated and not refreshed this is a very common mistake that a lot of developers do wherein they give a default argument for a method this is not wrong in most cases but if you are going to be giving a default argument as an list in this case it's obviously going to blow up in your face a simple fix here can be that instead of giving it as an empty list make sure to initialize it as none and inside the method you can then reinitialize it back to list the second common mistake is what i call as the hole in a bottle mistake if there's a hole in a bottle and you don't find this hole at all what will happen the bottle is going to continuously leak water that's what happens when you look at this code block at the first glance, it looks like a simple try exception block, which is actually catching all sorts of exceptions. The big problem with catching the base exception is that you will never know what or where exactly your code fails. This is going to be a debugging nightmare where you don't know where exactly the mistake is coming from because this exception block is catching everything. A simple fix here can be that instead of catching the base exception, make sure to specify what type of exception might arise from this specific code block. It could be a value error, an index error, it could even be a runtime error. Make sure to catch these specific exceptions at the start of the try except block and maybe catch your base exception towards the end. Catching base exception is basically like silencing anything that anybody says. So don't do that. All right. So the third mistake, I often call it as the transaction with money mistake. You are in India right now and have so much money in your hand. You take this so much money in your hand and go to US and try to transact with the money that you have. That's the same mistake that a lot of new developers make when you're trying to write your Python code. Take this code block, for example. If you look at this code block, there's a variable called a, which is defined as 10. And inside the method, you're trying to update this variable. Do you think this is going to work? The answer is no, this is not going to work. It's going to throw an unbound local error saying that the variable a is referenced before assignment. And this is probably because you don't know about the Python scoping rule. The Python scope resolution is basically based on the LEGB rule. The simplest understanding for this rule is that you need to know where you're going to define your variable. Is it within a local block like this method where you should have defined a is equal to 10 or a is equal to 15 or is it going to be outside the method block? Doesn't matter just because it's outside the method block that it's going to be global to all the methods. If you want to do something with respect to the global scope of a variable, make sure to use the keyword global. That way the variable is going to be available for all the methods. The common mistake that you guys also do is the circular import issue. Circular import primarily happens with respect to the import statement that you put at the top of a file. You have a file called a.py and you're trying to import the file b.py in it. And in b.py, you are again trying to import a.py. What happens is that in the a.py is now waiting for b.py, again is waiting for a.py, again b.py, it keeps on going in a circular way. Always being aware of where you are trying to import your Python file makes a huge difference when you're trying to debug your code. There are some socially unacceptable words that cannot be used with Python. When it says socially unacceptable, I'm talking about the scope of the Python itself. These, these are called as reserved keywords and I hope that you guys don't use that. This is all the list of reserved keywords in Python and you cannot use these words as a variable name at all. If you guys knew about all these five common mistakes, that's extremely good job on learning the Python the right way. Hopefully you guys did like this video. Check out these two videos that are coming right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.